Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, today I am going to use the KonMari method to get rid of some of my electrical items. I seem to be one of those people who will upgrade something and then never get rid of the old thing. That means that I end up with multiples of things like cameras, computers and mobile phones. Now, my dad does take some of these things but um, I still have loads of old ones and I really need to sort that out. So today I'm going to try and get rid of a huge quantity of my old electricals. I've also got um, a drawer which has things like cables. I did go through that earlier this year so I think most of the things in there should still be okay but if I'm getting rid of some things today then some of those cables will need to go as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my electrical items together and put them in one place. I know that I have two desktop computers that I need to get rid of. I'm not going to drag them out just because I know that I need to get rid of them. I just need to set them up, make sure that I wipe all the data off them and then I could sell them. So there's no point dragging them out for that, they're going to be really heavy for me to try and move. So I will get rid of those two desktop computers. Other than that, I'm going to get everything together in one place. Um, my lounge is still full of that massive pile of DVDs, so that's not really a great place to do it. So I think I might have to put everything on the bed here. Um, so I'll get all of my electrical items, try and get things like cables and headphones and whatnot together as well and just arrange them here and then I will sort through them and we will take it from there. Okay, so I have been round the house looking for electrical items and I think this is everything that is purely mine um, other than things which are um, definitely still being used, like my um, current computer, I wasn't going to bring that up here because there's no way I'm getting rid of it. So this is everything. Some of this stuff I know will definitely be staying, some of it I know will definitely be going. Um, I was thinking about maybe going through this on camera but uh, with it being on the bed, it's quite awkward to reach the things up at the back. So I will just sort through it now off camera, and then at the end I will talk through what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, and the reasons behind that. Okay, I have now sorted through all of my electrical items, and everything from here to the left I'm getting rid of. Everything from here to the right I am keeping and these two items plus this I am not entirely sure what to do with. So yeah I'll just take you through the stuff over here just now. So I've got some headphones here that I got from the gym and they just don't really fit my ears so I'm going to get rid of those. I've got um, a Walkman which I never use so I'm going to get rid of that and a personal CD player as well. There are three phones so this one and this one they still work and they have their chargers so I'm going to see if I can sell those. This one I haven't yet found the charger for so if I can find the charger I will see if I can sell that and if I can't find the charger I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I have a charger for rechargeable batteries. Um, I have another one of these 
so I just decided to get rid of this one because it can only do either two or four batteries at a time whereas the other one can do anywhere from one to four batteries so I prefer that one and it can also tell me if batteries are running out. Um, this is a camera that I got years ago. It's um, a Canon camera um, and it's only got five megapixels. I've had it repaired once before and it does still work but it's just not that great compared to cameras that you can get these days and I have another compact camera plus we have a digital SLR so there's no point hanging on to this one because it never gets used so I'll get rid of that in there there's also a spare battery for it uh, the battery charger, it's the only camera I have that takes compact flash cards, so I will get rid of them. And that is a little cable that goes with it as well. Here I've got a pedometer, which doesn't work, so I will get rid of that. Um, just a little... Um, kind of recording device. Uh, I never use this so I will get rid of it. I'll just try and tape over the tapes with uh, nothing. Just leave it in a, an empty room and then maybe see if I can sell this. Now this is just a cable for either one of my old phones or for my iPod and I have several ones that are still in good condition. This one started to come apart at the end so I taped it up and I thought if I've got a couple that are still in good condition I don't really need to hang on to this one as well. So that one is going. This is my very first laptop. I think it has an 18 gigabyte hard drive which was separated into two 9 gigabyte hard drives so you can imagine that was a very small storage space um, it's obviously really old it can't run much stuff in comparison to computers nowadays because I got it when I was 18 so that was uh, 13 years ago but it still works so I might see if I can sell that to anyone and then this was my previous um, laptop before the one that I've got just now. It works absolutely fine. You can use it for games and browsing the internet and that kind of stuff, but it just doesn't run Photoshop, which I need it to be able to run. So I have upgraded and got a new laptop, which I connect to an external monitor and I also have a keyboard and mouse connected to it as well. Uh, that can be a bit annoying because there's a lot of cables, but I do like the fact that I can just disconnect the laptop and take it with me anywhere that I want to go and then I can just work and it runs everything that I need it to, so it's really handy in that way. Now, if I move on to the stuff that I'm not sure about, there's this cable, and I just don't know if it's something that is handy to have about or if it's something that I just need to get rid of. It's something that I would maybe need to use for the modem, so I'm just going to check the modem and see if it's something that I'm going to need for that, and if I don't need it, then I'll get rid of it. Um, this is something that I used for one of my old computers, which I am going to get rid of and it just uh, acted as a wireless device so I'm going to hang on to this just until I wipe that computer in case I need to connect it to the internet for anything and then I will get rid of that and this is my little um, netbook I just open it up here is a bit difficult to do with one hand. Um, so this is just like a very small 
laptop. You can't put CDs into it to run games or anything like that. It's not very powerful. It's more for browsing the internet or word processing. And I'm not quite sure if I need to keep it or not. I do have my laptop, which is obviously a lot bigger than this. So I just need to consider whether it's worth keeping this as well or if I should get rid of this. So if you've got any ideas about whether it's worth hanging on to a netbook or not, then please let me know. Now onto the stuff that I am keeping. So I have my Intuos 4 Wacom uh, graphics tablet and I use that all the time for my digital painting so that is Steam. I have a tuner for my guitar. I haven't really played my guitar in years but I would like to play it again so I'm going to hang on to the tuner. Um, this is my iPad and the charger that goes with it. I use that a lot so I'm not getting rid of that. Same with my Kindle, it gets a lot of use and that's its charger. Uh, this is a pair of headphones that I got I think a couple of Christmases ago. They're skull candy ones and they fold up so I really like the fact that they are over the ear ones but they're also compact at the same time so I'm hanging on to those. This is a little charger um, like a, an external battery pack that I use for my mobile phone so that's quite handy just to make sure that I don't run out of battery power. Here I've got a couple of um, Nintendo things so I've got a Nintendo um, DS and then I've got uh, the Nintendo Advance. I would quite like to be able to get rid of the Advance, but the problem is that they're all backwards compatible by one thing. So this can play the games for this one and this one. This can play um, the games that are for this and for the original uh, Nintendo. So I feel like I need to hang on to both just because I do have games for them both and I do play them from time to time so I'm just going to hang on to them for now. This is my iPod and like I said I've got a couple of chargers that go with that. Um, this is my other battery charger. Um, I've got an HDMI cable which always comes in handy so I'm hanging on to that. This is a digital photo frame, so I don't use it a lot, but I really like it and I'm really just not using it because I haven't got a great place to put it at the moment, but hopefully I'll be able to find somewhere better to have it so that I can put it on and I can see the pictures, so I'm going to keep that for now. Um, I've got a calculator. This is a kind of scientific calculator. I know that we all have calculators on our phones and our computers these days, but sometimes you need to actually take one in with you if you're going to an exam or something. So I do still use this from time to time. Um, just a few little USB drives, which get used all the time, so I'm going to hang on to them. Uh, this is for my computer, it just extends the amount of USB slots that I have. It's not great to be honest. It disconnects a lot so I wouldn't recommend it um, and I'm only going to hang on to it until I can get a new one. And then finally this is my other compact camera which I got to replace the Canon one. Again, I'm not that happy with this one because I've had it for quite a few years, so I'm looking to replace it, but until I do, I'm going to hang on to this one, and that has just got this cable to go with it. So that's everything, and like I said, there are two 
uh, desktop computers to go with all of this stuff and some of this stuff in the middle might be going as well. And then this is staying, so I would say probably just slightly under a half is going. So there you go, that is my electronics declutter using the KonMari method. I am pretty pleased with what I managed to get rid of, it's basically what I expected I would say. And by the way, was anybody screaming the word Game Boy at the screen when I kept saying Nintendo? I have no idea why it was so hard for me to come up with that word, but there you go. So yeah, like I said, it's probably close to 50% that I managed to get rid of and I would say the things that I kept are all things that I do still use, some of them more than others. I mean things like the Nintendo DS is something that I probably just use once every few months, but I do still like playing it so I want to keep it for just now. The one thing that I wasn't so sure about was the netbook, so if you have any thoughts about what I should do with that then please do let me know in the comments section below. I'd also love to hear if any of you are doing the KonMari method and how you're getting on with it. It's great to hear from other people who are going through the same thing. Um, if you want to see more videos then please do subscribe. I am going to be doing plenty more decluttering videos. I still have quite a few categories to go through for the KonMari method and I think I will need to come up with some extra categories for the kimono portion because there will be certain things that I think won't be covered in the categories that she has mentioned. Please also give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and um, because Stephen and I are immigrating to Australia like I said even once we're finished doing the KonMari method we will still be going back and decluttering further because we need to get to quite a minimal point with our possessions for us to be able to take our things over there, so please do stay posted for lots more decluttering videos. Um, so that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Bye!